hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day how you guys and girls are doing hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box for all the nice links also drop a like subscribe if you like the content and also if you missed me because i've been gone so long i uh, just more than a month and i can't apologize more than i am right now because i know a lot of you have kind of been waiting and want to get going with the game finish the game and uh, i had a bunch of stuff to do so basically i was gone but my summer has been good i took a little break and just a big thanks to all of you for your support all of those who just told me to have a good time and enjoy myself i did and and just really helped that you guys were were uh, patient and uh, and so friendly like all of you are so friendly so nice it's just refreshing to see how many good people there are out there i uh, really 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 appreciate that uh, so there we go Basically, you're going to have to forgive me for this uh, because I'm so kind of out of whack uh, with what's going on. So let's just start off. I, I did try uh, try some stuff earlier before I started recording the video. So let's just recap. So what we were working on before I, I left was the editor and the editor mode to be specific. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? The enemy placing mode so that's kind of our next step to place enemies and stuff and switch modes it was basically page up and down i do suggest you to just check out the older video because i had to as well uh just to see what we're doing so once you do that you kind of see which mode you're in right so page up page down basically now if i go page up obviously we have uh this little tile here that i can place now i want to be able to place editor tiles and to do that, um, we're going to have to go into editor mode, enemy editor mode. So I'm just going to open those up. I do have those. And we're just going to place place a nice little, what do you call it? A nice little tile. So I'm going to go and check out default editor mode because there's a set of instructions here for adding a tile so I'm just gonna copy the whole thing also for removing a tile and toggling the collision okay so I'm just gonna copy all of that and I'm gonna see what's going on so I'm just gonna copy that put it in here update input now we're not gonna use all of this because we don't have tile add lock, we don't have this, all this crap here. So I'm just going to comment that out for now. Texture selector. Um, we don't have a texture selector, but we will have a, another type of selector, enemy selector. So I'm just going to comment this out, this out as well. Just like that. And do that. Now it's going to remove the tile. Um, wherever... There we go, wherever I am. Okay, cool. But what we need to do is we need to do this. If this um, tile map get. Okay, you know what? Just ignore that for now. We don't, we don't, that's not the important part. The important part is to actually be able to add a tile. Now, this, we don't have the texture selector just yet. Not this either. Um, okay. If the tile is empty. So I'm just going to go ahead and. Leave that as it is. Just probably just need one of these. Like this. And remove that. Oof, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, bunch of crap. Uh, but it's gonna take a little while. It's a process, right? It's a little process. So we're just gonna do that. Ignore all the red stuff. We don't have to care about that right now. Um, once that's done, we basically have whatever we need, right? We don't need to. We actually we don't need this right now. We'll get it later. The more code we have, the more annoying stuff's gonna be. So I just want to be able to read this. Um, good. So there we go. Just some basic stuff. 
Uh, very nice, very nice. Now what I do need is I need the cursor text to be different. So we're going to have to update that as well. And we're going to have collision for, or basically, you know what? We don't really need collision for these. We do need enemy type. Enemy type. Also, we need, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the enemy spawner because that's actually what we're going to put down. So enemy type, enemy amount. Enemy amount, whoops. Okay. Enemy time to spawn. Time to spawn. I guess, you know, just some stuff, basic stuff. Uh, we can change all of this later. Enemy max distance. So just a few things to, to play around with, basically. Um, whoopsie daisy. Okay, just a few things to start off with, basically. So the most important part is to be able to add one. Now, um, distance to spawn. Something like that. I'm not sure. Something like that. We're good. Um, now we're going to need these as variables as well. And I'll just keep them in here. Now we have the selector rec, cursor text, all that. Um, okay. So enemy type. I'm going to have to open up enemy to see what uh, what that is. Enemy type. Entity? Wait, where is it? Enemy. Okay, so I don't really have a type just yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a short. So I'm just going to, or an integer. So I'm just going to say int or unsigned. We'll just start off with unsigned type. And amount unsigned time to spawn we, we you know what int int's better because we're gonna have to check for zeros and stuff uh, minus one and stuff so there we go okay amount uh, time to spawn time to spawn and a max distance Okay, oh, so that's distance as in how far the enemy can go before it despawns. So I didn't think about that really. Let's go down here. Max distance. There we go. So that's a little better. Once that's done, we have these saved. We're going to copy these. Go ahead in here. Into enemy spawner. No, enemy spawner. Type amount, time to spawn, enemy, okay. Type, all right, so just going to put that in here, init variables. There we go. Remove the types, and then just go ahead and give these some starting values. Like 1 or something, time to spawn, maybe 20. I'm going to keep that as seconds, I think. Uh... So 60 seconds, something like that. Enemy max distance. Um, that's in float, so maybe a thousand. So now we have a few variables to work with. And right here, this type, this amount this time to spawn and then this max enemy max distance so I'll just call that max dis distance actually just to keep it the same and just remove the enemy part from there 
So I'm going to have to get into this again, as you, you might be seeing. I'm not 100% sure on what everything does. But at least I know where we left off. I hate, I hate this. I hate going away from a project for a long time and just forgetting everything. It sucks. Uh, but once that's done, you should be able to see these as the text. Now we're going to add some, some ways to change those. Um, now what is this? This is the tile type. Add tile, add enemy spawner. So what we're going to have to do, actually, you know what? Let's just remove this for now. Uh, remove tile. And we're going to make... Oh, we do have a sidebar though, right? I think we do. We'll keep that. Um, sidebar, set outline, everything. All right, so let's just run this. I removed that. Now the if statements are empty. I think it's going to complain. If it doesn't, we're good. All right, let me see. Editor, page up. Okay, so now you can see these enemy type, enemy everything. You can't really add anything yet, but at least that's working. All right, so we're about done with this video. I just want to make sure that we're on the right track. So in the next one, we're going to actually add the function. Let me just open up tile map so I don't forget. Here we go. So what we're going to do, let's just go ahead and outline this. What we're going to do is we're going to do an add add enemy spawner. Um, let's see. So I have tile here. What I what I'm thinking is I want the tile map to handle all these things with what's what and kind of casting stuff around. Um, because here we're gonna have to add a type, tile type, collision, texture rectangle. Hmm. Let's start off with the old fashioned way. You know what? Let's just start off with the old fashioned way and then we'll get to how to do it differently later. So let's just go ahead and say tile types enemy spawner and then collision is going to be false up in here and the texture rectangle is going to be nothing let's see how that it takes a texture rectangle a reference to a texture rectangle okay um, let's just copy the texture rectangle here and put it in here because we might use it later just to see what's going on um, texture rectangle. And we'll just send that in simply like that. Nothing special, all good. So it's just going to add a little tile and then we're going to remove it from wherever it is. And then go ahead down here to render. Set view, draw, selector. Okay, now before we end the video, I just want to draw the sidebar as well. Uh, this editor view. Target. Get. Default view. So we're just going to put the default view in and then this. Target dot render. No, god damn it. Ren draw sorry uh, this sidebar just so we get that out of the way and then we render the GUI and everything okay all right all right all right very nice very nice um, now if we were to render the tile map here render the tile map collision box tile 
file types okay all right show collision okay so it's collision box we're drawing okay i'm just recapping a little bit you don't have to follow me on this but okay so what i basically what i was looking for is i want to add a way to render uh, render the enemy spawner so we know that we placed it but we don't have to care about that just now we just want to run this we want to make sure it runs because if it runs then we're good okay so let's just do this I think I added something here pretty sure um, so at least the sidebar is drawing right rendering so let's just do that okay seems to be working to check just to check go down in tile map to wherever you're rendering stuff and uh, where is it here we go if get collision get type tile types enemy spawner so if it's an enemy spawner um, then okay so I'm just gonna do that just to see what's going on no so now it should draw a collision box yeah wherever i'm creating an enemy spawner so basically that is working now it's removing all the other tiles as well around itself but we don't want that but anyway um in the next one we're gonna make sure this doesn't happen and also that everything else should be smooth and work correctly so there you go that's it just adding enemy spawners making sure that works sorry for the slow video um, because I'm kinda rusty right now but I'll get back into it I promise we just gotta work with it a little bit hopefully you enjoyed it anyway and just thanks for sticking with me thanks for all the support take care good luck and I'll see you in the next one right bye bye